Code Signal, Arcade, Sudoku. Hello everyone, my name is Joshua and I'll be solving Sudoku from Code Signal. Um, as you can see, I'll be trying a different kind of format. I'm going to give the answer and I will walk you through how it gets to it. So in that case, um, it's going to be a bit faster, hopefully, and um, you guys can pause any time if you want to get the solution while I write it. So anyways, so Sudoku is a number placement puzzle. Um, as you guys can know, it's a 9 by 9 grid with digits. And we want to check if each column, each row, and each of the nine three by three, oops, each of the three by three subgrids that compose the grids contains all the digits from one to nine. All right. So now with that algorithm, um, you guys can look it up more about the algorithm of Sudoku. But you have like a nine by nine grid that follows these rules. If it does, it's true. It works. If not, it's false. So it's it's a big question. This could take forever. So that's why I have the answer right here. So the answer to how this works is that, first off, I want to check each 3x3 three three part of the grid, as mentioned right here, um, to see if they follow the rules. They all have their own numbers. There's no repeats or duplicates. Like, for example, this is what an issue looks like. It has duplicates in one of their squares of 3x3s. Three three. So to check my 3x3s, three three I iterate through each section with this for loop. Um, you see here I go up and down by threes, down left to right by threes, and I'll just give the position where the pointer where it, where which part of the grid that I'll investigate. Going to that check three by three, I simply just to check it, I just grab each value within that position, and I check if that sum should equal forty five, because for example, if any of these values are not anywhere between one through nine, if there is a duplicate found in one of those values, it's not going to equal 45, so therefore it should be false. Now I repeated the same thing as well when I check each row and each column. In this case, I, I go through each down, I sum it up as it goes through, and um, if it doesn't equal 45, then it's false, else it's true, because we want to make sure that in these rows and columns they also have values 1 through 9, and they keep that order. Now, the last thing I did, just a final check to make sure it all works fine, I add all those values into a hash set, and that indicates that if there's any duplicates as it goes through the rows and columns, like, for example, the set Y set is for all the values from this Y set right here, from up to down, and all the values from X set is from each row, left to right, and if there are any duplicates within those X sets, then if they don't equal 9, then return false. Because if they're all different values, then that should be, uh, then, then they should have at least 9 values. Because hash set prevents duplication, duplicate values. It's always a unique value. So after I add all the values into the hash set, I check if it's true or false. If true, then it's a valid Sudoku pattern. There you go. That's how you solve it. So in summary, I checked the 3 by 3s As you can see from my previous demonstration, I checked the sets to make sure they have at least 9 unique values for the columns and rows. And I checked each row and each column. Uh, I bet I could save time by combining these in a way in some strange fashion. I think you could have at least about... <clears throat> One, two, three. Maybe it's about O n squared time complexity, space complexity. I don't think I'm creating any new space other than X sets right here. So I think it's about O two n space complexity. And um, yeah, I think that's how you solve it. All right, guys. I hope you like this type of content. Please like and subscribe. And if you do, I'm gonna give you 100 Sudoku puzzles, and if you solve it, you could find the meaning behind the simulation and you find the great Elon Musk waiting behind it to grant you eternal life. Just kidding, guys. Have a good day. See ya.